Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and probably my biggest regret of the previous flying season, I mean 2019, was the fact that I missed the little glider hype. Somewhere around exactly this year, uh, May, maybe June, Lidl, you don't know Lidl? Uh, they are German shop company and they sometimes sell amazing stuff. Uh, maybe it's not Walmart uh, like you might know it if you're from the United States, but okay, from time to time they have really cool stuff. And last year they had gliders, foam gliders, small, something like, let me take a look, something like a one meter glider. And I missed that. I missed that. Uh, when I went to the shop, the uh, gliders were gone. So luckily this year, thank you, little, thank you, little Poland for doing amazing job of resupplying those gliders. Um, in um, the cost, eight euros, nine euros, something like that. Of course, this is only the fuselage and the wings and stuff like that. You still have to put your own motor. You have to put your own servos, receiver and stuff like that. The build takes one day, more or less, if you know, uh, what evening, if you know more or less what I do, what you're doing. I decided to build a version with both the elevator and the rudder, the four channel, and two servos for the ailerons. And I am after a maiden. I am after a maiden and I can say that, yeah, it flies. Yeah, it flies, but I unfortunately fucked up this and that. Uh, because now I know that I fucked up the tail, because the area of the Eleven is just just not enough to really have a nice pitch authority and what's more important I fucked up the motor angle. I set the motor to be more or less in parallel with the uh, bottom bottom side of the wing which is unfortunately wrong. <laughs> as soon as I try to open the throttle the glider does something like that and even the elevator is not enough to counteract this movement. But luckily the mount I found over here on the Thingiverse and 3D printed with PETG is a cool mount because there are bolts and you can unscrew and I will just attach the uh, add some um, washers between two, two halves of the mount so I will be able to fix the <laughs> fix the angle of the motor. But besides that, I like it. I really, really like it. I was not flying um, classic airplanes with a tail for like whew, more or less two years now. Oh, yo, 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 I almost lost my my camera. We have a windy day. Even, even this was a windy day, this model kind of like even with the botched uh, motor angle, it more or less behaved correctly. So this is also a good thing. Also a good thing. Uh, what else I can tell, take, uh, tell, take, tell, tell you about this? Uh, the cheapest, really. The, the motor is the Race Star BR 2205, 2300, 2300 kV. Uh, that costs like eight bucks from the from the internet the old old channel uh, radio receivers i are several ahead four year old lipo somehow i have a few of those 3s because you cannot rather fit 4s uh, inside of the canopy i was fortunately able to fit everything under the canopy after some let's say creative knife work and uh, for servos, mm, I have two better turnages on the wing and two the cheapest possible SG90 from China that costs you almost like nothing on the tail. The rudder is, well, probably uh, because of the motor problem, I was not able to fly fast enough to test if the rudder was effective on this thing. But let's say that it was somehow responding to the rudder, which is not bad, not bad at all. Uh, propeller, of course, the propeller, the let's say a standard multi rotor propeller. This is Dal Cyclone 5050. Hopefully, after I fix the motor, it will be efficient enough on 3S to have some nice speeds and nice experience. It weights right now around 440 without any FPV gear and unfortunately there is very little space in the front to put an FPV gear. So probably what I will do or even better I will build a second one because I got two. I, I got two. I will put the FPV camera somewhere here on the top to be able to FPV this thing uh, after all and yeah it's so it's so it's so quiet, really. You, you almost cannot hear it as, it's, as it cruises. Um, with, of course, a lot of uh, pilot input as it cruises, uh, cruises along. So I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. There will be no plans, no detailed build video because, come on, you just have to put everything together. 
uh, depending what you have. The only thing that you can think that you can have to remember, this is very flimsy. This is very flimsy, if not uh, stiffened. So what I did uh, on the almost the whole length of the fuselage, I installed the five by five uh, carbon pipe, a square carbon pipe. And even if I would try, no, I cannot bend it. Uh, for a moment, I also thought that maybe it's a good idea to have uh, equal pipe uh, on the wing, but then also maybe not. So in my case, the stiffening of the wing, the spar goes only up to the place when it bends upward. I kept the bent upward very part because I kind of would like to have something like a dihedral to have some some stability in the level flight. Uh, so far, I don't want to do a um, high-speed chaser, more like a, really a glider, so um, I will not be flattening uh, the wing because it's bended and it's starting to get windy again, but still it was flying in such a wing and uh, such a fun. Now there will be a part from the Maiden. Unfortunately, I've recorded the voice uh, only with my GoPro, so it might be, let's say, distorted. It will be cut into shorter pieces. Um, but yeah, Maiden videos are always cool. So that's all for today. There will still be like two, three minutes of the uh, head camera video and that's all for today until the next one bye oh probably i will do something more with this thing like maybe um the motor that would be really cool right okay that's all for today bye bye Zatacz. Oj, it does not look good. The center of gravity seems to be placed just fine, but looks like the elevator is too high. I will have to somehow trim it to the forward. I will have to trim it because definitely it was just climbing um, as soon as I applied the throttle. So that's not good. Time to make some adjustments. Okay, maybe now it will be slightly better. Let's give it a second try. Now it's slightly better. <laughs> no, it's not better. It's still shitty as hell. It still wants to climb. But at least it's gliding. I think I got the motor inclination angle too high. And this is why those kind of things is things are happening and probably I also made it slightly too too heavy and as a result it, the stall speed is just slightly too high as well and uh, that means let's give it a third try maybe now it will be better but <coughs> apparently I will have to fix the motor inclination angle because right now it's just climbing as soon as I apply the throttle. This somehow can be compensated with the elevator trim, but not, not really. So uh, yeah, I will have to add some washer between, because the motor mount actually has two parts connected with the, uh, with the bolts, so I can just insert something between two parts. Hopefully that will slightly help the problem. Okay, no, oh, it's still climbing like crazy. I can get it to flight straight, but only 
with really a lot of elevator movement because of this bloody wrong motor inclination angle but when I cut the throttle it really glides pretty nicely only when I oh and also looks like the roll is slightly 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 too sensitive I will have to reduce the throw on roll as well whoa Ah, okay, yeah, definitely the motor inclination angle is completely, completely wrong. Well, too bad, but that's nothing I can fix. Too bad I cannot fix it with me on the airfield because I took only the, the model and the, the radio and that's all. But at home I should be able to fix this in almost a no time. I wonder... Uh, if to look at it right now, yeah, you can clearly see that, you see, the motor inclination angle is somehow like that, the angle, it should be, I don't know, really like, fa at least 5 Telemetry degrees. Uh, but also, did I? So, yeah, back to the Telemetry workshop, recorded. I guess, to fix the motor angle. Or maybe one more try. But it really flies pretty nicely on a very road throttle. Uh, and another crush.